All right, so welcome to the Vectors Part 3 video. In this video, we're going to be talking about parallel vectors and collinear points. Now, when two vectors are parallel, one can be expressed as a multiple of the next. So, for example, if we're given two vectors, vector PQ, and we say it is parallel to vector AB, then we're saying that PQ is equal to some constant K times vector AB. So k is just a constant, just a number, just a number. So look at these two diagrams right here. We see vector a b is given, and we see vector and we see vector p q is given. If you look closely, you can see that they're both going in the same direction, but the only difference is that vector a b is bigger. So we say that p q and a b are both going in the same direction, but p q is bigger than vector a b. So vector PQ is parallel to vector AB. Ah. How do we express that mathematically? We write vector PQ is equal to some constant times vector AB. Let's, let's look at an example to see how we would apply this right here. So show that the vector MN is parallel to the vector RS and find the ratio of MN to RS. Now, vector MN is 4, 6 and vector RS is 2, 3. So vector mn, which is 4, 6, we can factor out 2, and so that's 2 times 2, 3. But vector 2, 3 is rs. So therefore, mn is parallel to rs, since we can write it as mn is equal to 2 times rs. In this case, our constant is 2. Ah. And we can actually realize that if you are to look at the ratio mn divided by rs, that would be 2 to 1. So all we're saying then is the vector mn is 2 times the vector rs. So here's one for you to try. Find the value of y given vector ab is parallel to vector cd. And ab is 2 minus 3 and cd is 8 negative y. So as you pause an attempt, since vector ab is parallel to cd, we know that vector AB is equal to some constant times vector CD. So 2 negative 3 is equal to some constant times 8 negative Y. So if you are to group the X components, we're saying 2 is equal to 8 times K. And from the Y components, negative 3 is equal to negative K times Y. From the X components, if 2 is equal to 8 times K, if we divide both sides by 8, we get K is 2 over 8. And so that works out to be k is a quarter. If k is equal to quarter, we can substitute the quarter into the y equation to get negative 3 is equal to minus a quarter times y. So that works out to be negative 3 is equal to negative y over 4. Cross multiplying, we get y is equal to negative 3 times negative 4, which is 12. And so y is equal to 12. Nice. Here's another one for you to try. Given the points A minus 3, 4, B minus 6, minus 5, C 1, negative 7, and D 5, 5, prove that vector AB is parallel to vector CD. Pause the video and attempt. So, vector AB is going to be vector OB minus vector OA. Now, vector OB is minus 6, minus 5, minus vector OA, which is minus 3, 4. So, minus 6, minus, minus 3, equal minus 3, and minus 5, minus 4, is minus 9. Now, vector DC is going to be OC minus OD. So, vector CD is going to be 1, negative 7, minus 5, 5, which works out to be negative 4, negative 12. Now what do we know? If vector AB is parallel to vector DC, then CD is equal to some constant times AB. So that means that negative 4, negative 12 should be equal to some constant times negative 3, negative 9. Let's check it out. Hey! Negative 4 then is equal to negative 3K from the X components. And negative 12 is equal to K times negative 9 from the Y components. From the left side, 
which is the x component if we divide both sides by negative 3 k is 4 over 3 and from the y components we see that k is 12 over 9 which is still 4 over 3 since we're getting one constant we can hence write yes vector a b is indeed parallel to vector d c it's just that vector d c is taller that's the only difference all right nice All right, now we're going to be looking at collinear points. Collinear points just mean points on a straight line. Now, in vectors, we're going to be required to prove that three points are collinear. And to do this, we must show two things. We need to show that two vectors are parallel to each other passing through the points. And then there must be a common point between the two vectors. So let's look at this diagram right here, a diagram with the points A, B, and C. We notice that A, the line, it is a straight line going from A to C, but B is also on the line AC. So we can conclude that vector AC is parallel to vector AB. Clearly, they're parallel because they're going in the same direction. Hey! And number two, a point A is common to vector AC and AB. Clearly. So that would mean, therefore, that the points A, B, and C are collinear. Now, at first, this might sound a lot to intake, but as you do more questions, you'll realize that it indeed makes sense that once two vectors are parallel and they have a common point, then the three points are said to be collinear. Ah. All right, so this question here says, use a vector method to show that the points M, L, and N are collinear. So, to do this, what we're going to first do is write down M, L, and N in their position vector. So, O, M as 2, 2, O, L as 3, 0, and O, N as 0, 6. Now, look at this. Vector L, M would be vector O, M minus vector O, L, which is 2, 2 minus 3, 0, which is negative 1, 2. And vector MN is ON minus OM, which is 0, 06 minus 2, 2, which is negative 2, 4. So what we realize though then is that vector MN, which is negative 2, 4, if we factor out a 2, it is 2 times negative 1, 2. But negative 1, 2 is LM. So vector MN is equal to 2 times vector LM. So 1 these two vectors are parallel because one is a multiple of the next and two there is a common point m so we can conclude m n and l are collinear that is the three points line a straight line now if you don't believe it let's justify it on a graph so we're going to pop up just a portion of the graph here and we're going to put on the point m being 2 2 in black we'll put on the point l being 3 0 in yellow I will put on the point N being 0, 6 in blue. I will draw a straight line through the three points. You realize, indeed, the three points are collinear. Collinear just means the three points line a straight line. Nice. So let's do another question right here. Pause the video and attempt. It says the diagram below, which is not drawn to scale, shows the triangle JKL. M and N are points on JK and JL respectively such that JM is equal to one third JK and JN is one third of JL. We need to copy the diagram and show the points M and N. And given that JM is equal to U and JN equal to V, write in terms of U and V an expression for JK, MN and KL. And using the results that you found in part two, deduce two geometrical relationship between KL and MN. So let's do this question here. Pause the video and attempt it first. So as you paused and attempted, first thing is we're going to put M and N on the diagram. They told us that JM is one third of JK. So M is going to be one third on along that line. And on the line of JL, N is going to be one third along that line. So you see where we put M and N? That's where M and N would be, one third along those two lines. Now, in part two, 
we need to find vector jk now to find vector jk well we realize vector jk is just three times vector jm because jm was one third jk and so therefore vector jk is just three u so if we were to split up the line jk the first third of it is u the next third of it is u and the next third of it is u so the whole line jk is three u so that's vector jk all right now we need to find vector mn that's the next part now vector mn is we can go from m to j and then from j to n so that's going to be minus jm plus jn and so vector mn is just minus u plus v which is v minus u so that is vector mn part three we need to go from vector k to vector l to go from k to l we can go from k to j and then we can go from j to l so that is just minus jk plus jl so vector kl is minus 3u plus 3v and so vector kl is 3v minus 3u now part three did you use two geometrical relationship between kl and mn number one since kl is equal to three times vector mn because look at it kl is 3v minus 3u if we factor out three that's three times vector mn so kl is just three times the length of mn and also kl is parallel to vector mn because they're both going in the same direction it's just that one of them is bigger so that's two geometrical relationship one of them is three times the length of the other and they're parallel to each other they're going in the same direction let's try a harder question right here so look at this diagram I want you to pause the video and attempt all three parts of this question A, B, and C. Alright, so now part A said we're supposed to state vector PQ and vector XY. Now, going from vector P to Q, since we can use position vectors because we see there's an O there or origin or start point. So vector PQ is just OQ minus OP. So that's going to be 12Q minus 12P. Because they gave us that OP is 12P. That entire line there is 12P. And they gave us that OQ, that entire line going from O to Q is 12Q. So that's vector PQ, 12Q minus 12P. Now going from X to Y. Going from X to Y is just OY minus OX using position vectors. Now the question told us OX is 4P and OY is 4Q. So vector XY is 4Q minus 4P. Alright? So just to put it on the diagram, you can write that OX put on your 4P. Put on that going from X to P then is 8P. Alright? Just to have it on your diagram. Hey. Part B. It says we need to find PR and YR. But first it says, given that vector xr is a quarter of xq. So if xr is a quarter of xq, then vector xr is a quarter of xq is oq minus ox. oq is 12q minus ox is 4p. A quarter of 12q minus 4p is 3q minus p. So that's vector xr. Now we can find vector pr because vector pr is going from P to R, but we can go from P to X and then from X to R. Going, to, going from P to X is negative 8P, plus going from X to R is 3Q minus P. That simplifies to be minus 9P plus 3Q. Ah. I'll put it in bold black. Going from vector Y to vector R is going from Y to O, then going from O to X, then going from X to R. So vector yr is minus 4q plus 4p plus 3q minus p. Simplifying that expression is 3p minus q. So that's going from vector y to r. Part C says prove that yr and p are collinear. So to prove that they're collinear, we need two things. We need to show they're parallel and they have a common point. Now first thing is vector pr is minus 9p plus 3q. 
If we factor out a negative 3, that's negative 3 in, in bracket 3p minus q, which is negative 3yr. So vector pr is equal to negative 3yr. So our constant is negative 3. So that implies that pr is parallel to yr and there's a common point p. So hence yr and p are collinear. That's all yr and p are collinear. Now, not all the time it's going to be in the form of a diagram question. Sometimes it can be with position vectors. So let's do an example with position vectors. So pause the video and attempt this question right here with position vectors. All right. So the first part is to find vector BA. We know that's OA minus OB. So that's 6, 2 minus 3, 4, which is 3, negative 2. So vector BA is 3, negative 2. Now vector BC. Vector BC is OC minus OB. That's going to be 12, negative 2 minus 3, 4. That's 9, negative 6. So vector BC is 9, negative 6. All right. Part 2. Part 2 says state one geometrical relationship between vector BA and BC. Now vector BC is 9, negative 9. If we factor out a 3, that's 3 times 3, negative 2, which is 3 times vector BA. So vector BC is 3 times vector BA. So since vector BC is 3 times vector BA, you can tell them that BA and BC are parallel. Or you can tell them that A, B, and C are collinear. All right? They just wanted one, but we put two. All right? And part three says, draw a sketch to show the relative positions of A, B, and C. Sketch means you're going to put it on a graph. So we're going to bring up our X and Y axis. And we plot the point A, which is 6, 2. X is 6, Y is 2. Plot the point B. X is 3, Y is 4. Plot the point C. X is 12, Y is negative 2, and we draw a straight line, and you notice that the straight line passes through all three points, and so that shows that the three points are collinear. All right, and we proved it from our calculation. And so, all right, so the best way to understand these concepts is to practice, practice, and practice. So keep on practicing, and I wish you all the best. So stay tuned for more, and take care.